Sometimes I don't know how to start a review, so I randomly sing. You're welcome. All right with me, like burning suns. You're asking me where I'm coming from. UK indie rock band Bombay Bicycle Club have returned with a new EP, Fantasies. The EP features four songs, one of which was recorded during the same session as their last album, My Big Day, one of my favorite albums of last year. However, they decided to record three more tracks and release this EP before going on another tour. And honestly, even though I loved My Big Day, all four of these songs are better than almost everything off that album, aside from maybe Meditate, which made my top song of the year, one of my top songs of the year last year. Uh, similar to the album, which was full of collaborations, Fantasies has guests on every track, which brings a diverse range of sounds to this short but great EP. The EP begins with the song Fantasneeze, featuring indie folk musician Matilda Mann, this is the song that was recorded during the My Big Day sessions. The song sees Jack Steadman and Matilda harmonizing over this very upbeat and happy indie rock tune. This song has this very positive vibe to it, with the chorus repeating I do, as if it is an answer to a proposal. I also love the bridge, which has this intense vibe to it, with low-pitched horns adding intensity to this feeling that everything is going to be okay in the end. I find happiness to be a hard emotion to capture musically without sounding corny as hell, and they somehow pull it off on this track. This is followed by the song Blindfold, featuring indie pop singer Liz Lawrence. The song has more of an electronic vibe to it, beginning with these weird, almost skipping piano parts and these warped vocal noises. Liz Lawrence kills it on this track. Her voice penetrates my soul. It fits perfect over this melancholic beat. Lyrically, the song feels like the blindfold is a protective shield, both from being hurt, but also for fear that you have settled and you are blinded towards something that could come that might be better. The song eventually builds to this rock conclusion with the line repeating, I'm not looking up, but you almost feel like they want to, like they are going to do it only for the song to pull back again. It's just an incredible track. We then get the song Willow featuring indie folk singer Lucy Rose. The song musically combines some of the elements of the two previous tracks with the upbeat indie rock sound, but also with a bunch of interesting electronic elements. The bass really holds the song together on this one though, and sounds incredible with all the other elements glittering over top of this just groovy bass line. However, the chorus is also incredible, with Jack's deep voice nicely complemented by Lucy Rose singing softly above it. The song sees Jack struggling to make connections as if he's emotionally shy or reclusive, with him laying in bed falling in love but failing to act on it. But he is happy for those who have the ability that he lacks to actually act on it. As he sings, he is happy for them, uh, but you can almost hear the envy in his voice. The EP ends with the song Better Now featuring singer Ray Morris. Again, this song is largely driven by the bass, with the other elements sort of sprinkled on top. It is a fast-paced indie rock song, but then it stops in its tracks and we get a drum and bass sample with these soaring horns and Ray Morris comes in just angelic like a transcended being exploding out of the clouds singing all rise with me like burning suns. The song, almost channeling some of the melancholic energy of the previous tracks, has this confident swagger as if someone is finally coming out of their depression. They are, as the title would suggest, better now. 
There is not a dull moment in these four songs. I'm only angry that this was an EP and not an entire album of songs. If you're not listening to Bombay Bicycle Club, uh, you should be. And uh, yeah, I give this EP, as short as it is, a little bit of a little 15 minute four song disc, a five out of five. And if you already have checked it out, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, suggest to me anything else you want me to review or, uh, you know, anything else. Subscribe to the video. Like the video. Do whatever you got to do to tell the algorithm that you love me. Because I need to feel loved.